Hello you guys and welcome to Life in General Vlogs. This is Mariah and I'll tell you guys, <laughs> this video has been way overdue. I filmed this video three or four days before Christmas. I needed to do a deep cleaning besides the regular cleaning that I do on a daily basis. As you can see the house, my daughter just gets everything out. It's, you know, she's a toddler. She's 15 months old and that's what they do, I guess. Anyways, but I needed to deep clean my kitchen and my bedrooms, uh, my bedroom and our daughter's bedroom, Emma's bedroom, and then the bathroom. Uh, yes, absolutely. Basically, I recorded this video. We already were not feeling well that day, and a day before that, Emma was not feeling well at all. It was just an interesting thing because we got the stomach bug, uh, the viral stomach bug that we had, and it went through all of us. So basically almost a month, almost a month for all of us to almost healing and I'm still getting over. I ended up with bronchitis and uh, double pneumonia and I ended up in a hospital at uh, 34 weeks pregnant. Anyways, uh, in this video, I'm actually 33 weeks, just turned 33 weeks. And as you could see, I started my bedroom, you guys. So I'm going to talk a lot through this video. That way I'll get a chance to catch up with you guys. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. This video, I had to basically finish up my kitchen the next day because Emma ended up uh, in a hospital. She was throwing up about... By the time we got to the hospital, she already had thrown up about 11 or 12 times. We were really concerned that her fever was like over 104. So when we got there, they're like, oh yeah, that's viral. And then uh, not even two, three days later, I ended up being really sick. And then literally uh, my in-laws, they were over for Christmas morning. And then that night I ended up in the hospital. Um, actually, the doctor wanted to admit me on the 22nd. I didn't let him because I didn't want to ruin Christmas for Ryan and Emma. Not that we really celebrated, but still, you know, this is the first year where Emma actually understands anything about Christmas and um, definitely did not want to be in a hospital for all that time. As you could hear my voice, I'm still getting over it. If you look through our other videos for the New Year's where it says Happy New Year, uh, baby boy name announcement, uh, we did reveal the name for him and I'll link that video down below. My voice was completely shot. I was barely able to do a voiceover or record. So we just did a video, like a vlog, regular vlog, and then you could hear all of us are pretty much sick. It's the beginning of January. Happy New Year to you guys. Um, as you could see, I'm trying to clean as much as I can. And I'm using, I'm making sure that I could use it on glass and mirror. I'm using uh, Mrs. Meyer's multi-surface cleaner and honeysuckle. Not the best smell for me. I don't like it. But now that I got a new order uh, of things, I just wanted to finish that one. I got it in reddish, that's my favorite smell, and lemon. Reddish and lemon, those are two favorite smells that I have. And I can't wait to dig into that one and use it around the house. Yep, I'm just like dusting those little, the cabin with my makeup, hadn't touched it. I'm planning to do a spring cleaning once uh, our baby boy is here. And I'm not going to tell you the name of him in this video because I will link the name reveal down below for you guys and eventually i'm planning to change those little tables i don't like them because they're glass and there are numerous times when emma almost hit her head against it we don't let her into the bedroom unless we're not unless if we're there she's allowed to be in there and yes i'm wearing ryan's sweatpants and i have a tag sticking out it's totally embarrassing but who cares anyways I'm pregnant and I look like a giant whale. <sighs> Even though everybody's telling me that I've lost weight, I have, but the belly is huge. And our little boy is going to be with us in the bedroom, you guys. Um, he has the bassinet ready to go, thanks to my friend Elena. Shout out to you. And then we have a little 
Moses basket type of thing that will be with us in bed and if we go anywhere, we could take it with us. Um, and then I had a bunch of his clothes that I had to go through. I have a video coming up for that, what's in my hospital bag and what I have for him and the space that we prepared and all of that stuff. Really soon, it's coming out. As I said, I have been really sick and uh, sometimes being unprepared in the YouTube world, lesson learned, record ahead of time and record a lot. And, you know, I'm trying to be better on it, scheduling and posting it. Now I'm moving on into Emma's bedroom and you're probably wondering why it's so dark. It's because while I was cleaning our bedroom and I was doing laundry in between, Emma was napping and then when she woke up, Ryan just got home. He gets home around depending um, seven or eight o'clock. So they're currently spending time together downstairs and he's feeding her after her nap. And then later on, she's gonna have a bed. She was not feeling well that day, you guys. And she's totally daddy's girl. Daddy, 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 everything's daddy. And uh, we did take the crib, the front of the crib. So it became a toddler bed now for her. As of right now so we did that at the beginning of the year she's definitely ready and now she comes out of the bed herself and you know, we close the door she likes her door shut and she likes to sleep in the complete darkness she's just like me I'm a light sleeper I cannot have any light or anything like that it will bother me um, so yeah <clears throat> yeah I'm still getting over my <laughs> viral stomach bug that turned into upper respiratory infection and everything else you guys I'm telling you not fun being sick while you're pregnant but I'm glad we all got sick and over it before our baby is here so yeah and it's not a flu so if I would have gotten a flu shot it wouldn't help me because it's a viral and viral there's no shots for it you just have to run its course and I was on antibiotics for about 10 days I'm drinking my tea in the background, so I apologize. Yeah, so basically her room is really easy to clean. I try to dust and clean everything in there at least twice a week. And I do not keep the diaper pail there. We keep it actually in between my room and in a hallway right there as you go into our bedroom. I think it's disgusting to keep a diaper pail in a bedroom. Not that it smells or anything like that. It just bothers me. There's no problem of taking a diaper and throwing it into the you know there and then that way uh, our garbage days are usually Tuesdays and Fridays so usually on Monday and then Thursday Ryan will you know empty it out and throw it out so here's my messy messy shower and bathroom I use the daily shower we use that on a daily basis after each one of us showers because we do have a one tub and I tried to keep it clean it's stained there's nothing I could do because the house is extremely old you guys and uh, yeah and then this the tub and tile every time I clean the bathroom usually it's once a week deep clean it or even sometimes I, I do it as I go if I see that I, it needs to be cleaned before we wash Emma and she has her bath obviously we'll do that and most of the time when Ryan goes in the tub before he goes in, he doesn't take bath tops, but he takes a shower. So before he climbs in there and showers, I actually spray it and then he'll take the sponge and, you know, the, do a good scrubby scrubby there and then really well rinse the shower. And then just trying to organize everything because little hands touch everything, especially when we do brushing her teeth. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Brushing her teeth is something else. It's like a, a job on its own. She's not fussy or anything like that, but if you do it too long of a time, she gets upset and she wants to do it herself and she wants to do the toothpaste herself. She's just a lot of fun. She's 15 months old and we don't want to discourage her or start hating brushing her teeth. So we try to go with her. So if she doesn't feel like brushing her teeth in the morning, 
then after she has her breakfast then will brush her teeth so depends on her little mood um, and how she feels but usually she's entertained while she's looking in a mirror and what I'm doing right now I already sprayed everything when I sprayed the bathtub the tub and tile from Mrs. Myers I love the smell it's in lavender and now what I'm doing I'm rinsing everything I eat my rule is this you spray something on it let it soak clean and then you clean again and then you wipe and disinfect so now that I already basically cleaned everything and sprayed everything I'm disinfecting everything and I prefer not to wear gloves because I just don't wear it I'll just wash my hands and it's easier for me to do it that way it's hilarious I can't fit into that spot of the where the toilet is it's extremely difficult and then I put a little bit of um, the Mrs. Myers, the top and tile in there. Let the brush kind of dry off like that. And then we keep the Lysols and the disinfectant wipes. Those are the only thing that I don't use as far as green goes. I did try green works. Didn't like the product. They had way too much soapy stuff on it and it smelled weird. And then I'm using Method for the... Uh, Mirror, and I don't really like it, but I gotta finish it. I still have the same amount of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, this mop, I only keep it for the bathroom, period. It does not leave the bathroom. And my tub is still soaking, and I have extremely hot water like, I'm talking about over a hundred something degrees water. Um, that I'm rinsing, rinsing what it kills everything pretty much and of course I didn't take the dirty water and dump it into the tub I dump it into the toilet and guess who decided to show up you guys I wish I left the audio for this she was so funny she was gonna grab the rags and I'm like no no Emma and she like runs into the bedroom it's hilarious Ryan is about to come up and give her a bath and yeah she has to like immediately do something yeah, I'm about to put her laundry in because uh, I just changed her sheets. Yep, this is me coming downstairs and it got worse over the course of the day and Ryan just cleaned up actually. And Ryan, before they went upstairs, she decided to get everything out. And yeah, that's garbage right there. Ryan's going to throw it out after he comes downstairs. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yes. I definitely need to do a video on our night routine and how we keep it clean so when we wake up in the morning we actually have a peaceful clean place in the morning before she wakes up and starts destroying everything in a house but uh yeah she has her corner basically baby toys take over our house is already tiny and uh, cluttered with a bunch of toys so I told relatives no more toys no more toys probably come spring I'm gonna go through them and we're gonna give some away and donate some um, yeah again I use Mrs. Myers all the time my table this table is five years old guys it's a nice table I love this table but the surface on it I kind of messed up I was doing my nails one time before we even had kids you know kids uh, Pantro my cat uh, knocked over a bottle of acetone on a table and it made a hole not a hole but like it took the paint off so eventually what we'll do we'll probably reverse, resurface the table and then I'll change the coverings on the, on the chairs itself Otherwise, I love my table. And that wall behind, it's not a decal, you guys. I actually designed it and I painted white in the background. And then what I did, I put masking tape and I put, I used four different colors. And uh, that's what I came up with. Here I am in our living room and it's a Katia Christmas tree. And since I'm Russian Jewish, um, Anybody that knows anybody that's Russian, they always have a Christmas tree. It's actually, we call it the New Year's tree. We open up gifts for New Year's. So, 
we do Hanukkah, Christmas, and New Year's. I prefer to have my gifts on New Year's because that's what I'm used to. Nothing big. That way is more exciting. You're not opening up all the gifts for Christmas. Well, you guys, those little tables my mom keeps telling me, why don't you just put a decal on it or something? They look so worn out and ugly. I did try to put a decal on. It doesn't look good. Um, maybe I'll try something else. Maybe I'll paint it or something, but I don't want to paint it because Emma is at this stage. She likes to scratch everything and actually tries to bite things. I'm not even joking. So yeah, no. I'm probably going to get rid of them come spring and buy new ones. We have so many blankies. I'm not even joking. Emma has her favorite. Ryan has his favorite. And I have my favorite. This is my favorite. So sometimes I'll fall asleep. Since I'm preggers, I constantly sleep. I'm not even joking. I have lots of energy, but then like I'll want to sleep and kill me. I want to sleep nonstop. Vacuuming. Oh my goodness. It's not hard for me to vacuum. I love my vacuum. And if you're interested in it, I'll I have all the links to everything that I use to clean my house with including the Grove Collaborative. I have a coupon where you get free stuff. If you sign up with them through my affiliate link, I'm not lying, I do have an affiliate link. And I have an affiliate link with uh, Amazon also. So even if you buy something else through my link, it doesn't matter whether it's my things that I have or anything else, I get a little bit of pay of something. So it kind of helps me because I'm not getting a squat from YouTube. I love my YouTube channel. And I try to work really hard to put out a good content for you guys. By the way, if you've seen my Instant Pot videos, Instant Pot recipe videos, I'm totally obsessed with it. And here I am the next day because uh, as I was cleaning and I was doing things, Ryan immediately called me upstairs because Emma was throwing up. And then we were taking care of her. And by the time it got way too late and I got tired, went to bed, woke up like a gazillion times, both of us, ended up going to ER. So this is the next day I'm finishing up cleaning. I didn't even put the dishwasher on. And I'm literally wearing an old tank top because I had to rewash Emma's bedding and change everything because she threw up in bed. And then she threw up in our bed and I just changed all the sheets. It, it was a lot of fun that night, you guys. So Ryan is actually home on that day. And we woke up around 11 o'clock and I started finishing up cleaning. Because my biggest pet peeve, if I start a cleaning and it's not finished, I'm like, it's not a fun thing for me. Anyways, uh, that's what had had been happening in our life. By the way, the dish soap from uh, Mrs. Myers, the radish. If you've never tried, please do. I actually just ordered their um, dispenser that you put a little bit of soap and their sponges, the, the walnut sponges are amazing. I love them. They last a while. They're really nice. If you're interested in my Instant Pot uh, recipes, I will have the playlist down below or if you just go into my playlist there's like recipes and cooking I love my instant pot I told Ryan for my birthday in May for Mother's Day whenever he decides to I want another one you know it's the smaller one though but with the one that does the yogurt or the digital one and I use my little oven a lot here's the trick you guys I buy a lot of lemons because I like a lemon a hot tea with lemon and before they go bad or anything like that, I'll cut, the, cut, cut them up into smaller pieces and freeze them. And I'll put them into my garbage disposal. And uh, it makes it smell good and it sanitizes the inside. And I love when my sink is dry. And then that day, well, actually, I had an appointment because I go for my non-stress test. So around 1.15, so I had to hurry up and finish up everything while Ryan was home with Emma. <clears throat> and then I went to the doctor and then I came back. 
made dinner. As you could see, there's more dishes. You know, the usual stuff. And then I said, okay, I'll just wash the floors at the end of the night. And uh, Brian was helping me out. And again, we already had toys around the house. So the usual night routine, I'll film that for you guys, what we do at night. After finishing up with the kitchen, it was around like 9.30 or so p.m. I've uh, finally sat down for a little bit and watched a movie with Ryan. We actually started ordering Netflix DVDs um, because especially with the new baby coming, you don't have time for a date night and nor I want to go to a restaurant with a toddler and a newborn baby. Nothing that there's anything wrong with it. But you can't have quality time. So when Emma is in bed and Ryan usually works all the time, we don't get time to spend together. This is our time to unwind, watch TV, watch a movie, and just relax with each other. Maybe have a cup of tea. Just have downtime, unwind, talk about things. And usually I will do my bojo, my bullet journaling. I got into that. I have a video coming up because I did a setup for 2019 and January. I'm hoping to release that this coming up weekend, which would be like the 12th or the 11th of January. As I said, all of my videos that I filmed, uh, they had to wait for me to do the voiceover. Anyways, this is the end product and Ryan already picked up all the toys. So we'll alternate who picks up the toys. Most of the time he does when he comes home after he puts her to, to sleep and stuff like that. Um, he's very helpful. He doesn't like to be on camera as much of us as you guys could see already. I want to thank each and every one of you that is subscribed to our channel. I love reading your comments. You guys are amazing for your support and love that we get. Thank you so much for your patience. I will have a couple of links for my uh, Instant Pot recipes and a couple of other videos. And most important, our name announcement uh, for our son. All right, you guys, I want to thank you. If you're new to this channel, I hope you were motivated to clean a really messy house. My messy house is really probably motivating. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. I love to interact with you guys. And on top of that, don't forget to click the bell. All right. Every single subscriber helps out a lot. Thank you so much. And have a good one. I'll see you in my next video.